Hello troublemakers and welcome into the chill zone. This is a very relaxed space. If anybody is just like getting ready for the day and they're just like, pump me up. This is not the space for you. You can go. This is a winding down space. This is a space where you come to, we're just gonna relax, all right? You ever been on YouTube and just start watching movie trailers and then YouTube's like, hey, I have like a thousand more of these movie trailers. You want to watch them? And you're like, yes. You ever been in that spot? I know you have because there's trailers on YouTube, films I've never even heard of, films that should have never been made, 10 million views. So what we're going to do today is watch some of these trailers. We're going to start with one that I saved. <laughs> well, I saved three. I saved a trailer called Ladylike, Do Not Reply, and Deviant Love. Let's start with Do Not Reply. Let's bring a little horror into our chill zone. You thought chill was about safety? No. Chilling is a, a, a mindset, right? And you could die in any kind of mindset. Warning. Dylan just sent me a picture of his thing. Seriously? I think he's going to ask me to be- Wait, 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 wait. We're starting talking about dick pics? Dylan just sent me a picture of his thing. Did you say Dylan? Dylan just sent me a picture of his thing. Seriously? Is there a guy named Dylan sending dick pics? I don't like it. Oh, he's cute. Can I talk to him? Ooh, hitting up a cowboy. Hey. <laughs> That's like the scariest thing. You hear the sound effect? It's like, can we talk on the phone? <laughs> No. My anxiety. I mean, I know we haven't seen each other in person, but I feel like we know more about each other than people who meet normally. Halloween is this Friday. I saw an ad for a warehouse party. You are the most beautiful dead girl I've ever seen. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he drugged her. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Good morning, Sadie. Brad, you know my name is Chelsea. <laughs> Your name is Sadie now. I don't know. Am I scared? Not really. She wasn't scared at all. She's like, my name is Chelsea, dumbass. Look at, hey, get a load of this guy. He's fucking stupid. That's this girl right now. Who are you? I'm Sadie. I'm stopping us from getting into trouble. What's your name? S Sadie. Your real name. It's Sadie. Good girl. Everything. Is because Brad says so. Something wrong, Sadie? You can tell me. I miss my- Wait, that guy looks familiar. Is that the Twilight guy? Oh, is this Twilight boy? The one from the Civil War? We have to work together. It's our only chance. No, we don't. I'm not your sister, Sadie! <laughs> I love how his horror image is just a football helmet with cameras on it. And a knife. <laughs> What's scary about a football helmet besides, like, concussions? Look at this, oh no! Not football helmet, cameraman! No! I love this shot, wait, wait, wait. That, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> they put a little fish eye on it, so it's like distorted and it looks weird. Ah, mm. no thank you, no thank you. The second element to this video series is we then try to guess the tomato meter. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. I, like, I think it's gonna be double digits. It's not gonna be under 10%. I'm gonna give this a 14%. You guys make your guesses. Do not reply. Uh, hey. <laughs> it's a Wattpad. Don't tell me this is based on a Wattpad book. Do not reply. Oh, wait a second. On IMDB, it's got a 6.8. There's <laughs> no, no, no. All right, time to move on. Let's find a new one. B. <laughs> Let's call it B. Hi, Dad. Love you. <laughs> All right. Have a good day at work. I'm so tired, bro. You don't understand. Ah, I don't know. Keep it together. Okay, okay, stop. Mom. Well, can we go in this century? Right, okay, 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 okay. What What is the first part of this trailer? Can we just digest what's happening? Because I don't understand a single thing. I love you. <laughs> All right. Kids are going to school. I'm so tired, bro. You don't understand. Ah, I don't know. Can keep it together? Okay, okay, stop. Mom, what is she even saying? She's like... <laughs> what is her issue? I postponed dinner as long as I could. Oh, uh, he's having an affair. Watching me. Mom? She's gone. Can you help me? We found mom. Where is she? Oh my god. <laughs> mom is being a... Someone tell me what is going on right now. We have to show... Title is bitch. As in dog. Female dog. Did mom turn into a dog? Jill? 
What's that? Was that supposed to be horror? <laughs> it's the mother of a family acting like a dog chasing them. <laughs> Is that? They shot it in the horror Is way. There a medical term for this condition? Behaving like a dog. Please, guys, I just need a minute of silence. I don't have any underwear or socks on. What is, what is the pitch for this? How do you get this movie made? You just go up to these people like, yeah, I got a script for you. The mother of a family, right? Super relatable. Families, right? <laughs> we all have them. So the mother of a family is feeling stressed. So she decides to turn into a dog. You wanna buy my script? <laughs> she needs comprehensive psychiatric care. She's not going to a mental institution. We don't have any food left. We're so hungry. This is a very bad time for me. What is going on with your wife? I have to be at work 18 hours a day. Are you okay? Who, me? Yeah, of course. Why is the second half of the trailer starting to look like an okay film? Jill's doing you a favor. Maybe it's the life you're supposed to be living. This is what it was all supposed to be. This is part of the big plan. You <laughs> I think this this is like a, a heartwarming film where, cause he was he was acting like a dog too, right? So I'm assuming that's towards the end of the film. Where was that? This is the the last part of the trailer. It's like okay, we're getting to the meat of it. This is like late second act, third act. Okay, he's acting like a dog. He's trying to connect with his wife. That tells me in the film he's probably gonna try to reconnect with him with her, and they're gonna like work out their differences and issues. Guesses, make the guesses. <laughs> here it, it's on here. I gotta guess. Oh. Uh, 30, 43%, 43%. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, I guess that doesn't really surprise me. I, for some reason it was like, it looked like they were pulling it off, but the audiences did not like. Lady like, this is one of the saved ones. Before we watch this movie trailer though, I should tell you about today's sponsor. Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll is a hub for anime. It has so many good shows. In fact, they just announced that the final season of Attack on Titan will be on Crunchyroll later this year. So I'd recommend to anyone who hasn't seen the show, catch up through the first three seasons, all available on Crunchyroll. It has some of the most beautifully animated fights I've ever seen. The action and drama and world building is second to none. You'll actually get 14 days of no ad premium Crunchyroll for free if you use my link, which is crunchyroll.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Attack on Titan is one of the best anime I've ever seen, but Crunchyroll has tons and tons of more anime if you're looking for something else. They also have simulcasting, which is another nice feature that makes it super easy to keep up to date with anime. A good amount of shows are on Crunchyroll ready to watch within an hour after they air in Japan, so you don't have to wait a long time for it to be subtitled. Crunchyroll.com slash Dylan is in trouble to get those 14 days for free, and I will leave a link for it in the description as well. Final girl. Save that one. That one's going up. Okay. All right, we got Lady Like 6.6 million views. Oh, it's red. Doesn't red mean like Get ready for some shit. So, I'm thinking this is the year I get a boyfriend. I don't know if you can really plan for that sort of thing. I mean, last year I had my slutty sophomore stand, which was fine. I'm not gonna judge myself for that. <laughs> Would you see someone be there? Will you just shut up and get drunk with me? Okay, I get it. I'm your rock. I don't know. I don't know. How are we feeling about this trailer so far? I don't know. I have a feeling this is gonna be some trash ass film because 30 seconds of the trailer, it just looks like garbage. Hey. That guy looks familiar. Oh, he was in that Noah Centineo swiped film. Not swiped. Uh, it was one of his dating app films. I was wondering if you would be up for... A date? Who has been on dates here? This guy's a fucking dreamboat. <laughs> you need to go to the gym. What? You need just a little cardio. Eye the tiger, baby. Earn it. Doing great, man. I, how are we not halfway through this trailer? My thing is like, wh what has happened? This girl is into this guy and he's into her. There's been no conflict whatsoever. Not even a hint of conflict. By this point in the bitch movie, the, the woman was a dog. A, a whole ass woman became a whole ass dog. You want what they have? Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous all the, oh, okay. no. I mean, I'm jealous of you for being funnier than me and loose for sexing all the lacrosse guys, even though I do find it morally questionable slash would secretly do the same. Why, 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 why? Do you know how much screen time they just gave that unfunny person? They gave her like her whole big funny joke of the film and it wasn't funny at all, wow. That was abysmal. I'm gonna get super weird today. We already are weird. Who was that? 
I have no idea. No, I mean, it was Allie, but she looks like shit. It just makes me feel more like a lady. Mm -hmm. Plus it helps me get fucked up. <laughs> See, okay. I'm gonna tell you what they did wrong. Wait, what the fuck is this? Love and Monsters? Dylan O'Brien? I love Dylan O'Brien! Which brings me to my first point. People think like just having weird inflections of your voice is funny in and of itself. So I think the reason they put this in, they, the reason that the filmmakers thought this was funny is just because of how she's using her voice. Like she's not saying it in a, a way normal people would say it. So people are like, oh, that's weird and funny because it's weird. Fashionable slash would secretly do the same. It's not funny just because she sings the last word of it. Yeah. <laughs> Some of this, like, like she just slaps him on the ass. People were supposed to want to watch the film because she slapped the guy on the ass. We're supposed to watch the film because she, like, just bumped into somebody. Fucking dreamboat. That's not funny. If there's no context to why she's just being an asshole, then it's not funny. It doesn't matter if it's like guys or girls that are doing this. So there's no double standard here. If it's just, if you put somebody in your trailer just shoving someone out of the way for no reason, it's not funny. We're gonna guess. And the more I talk, the more I hate it. So I should just guess now. What's the plot? Thin as hell, 21%. So how did 69%? One review, 0%. It's a 0%. Roger Moore. He's like a legit one too, a 1 1.5 out of 4. <laughs> Let's move on to this Dylan O'Brien movie, Love and Monster. Wait, whoa, 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 This can't be a real thing. Because it's That's not even Dylan O'Brien. Oh, it is Dylan O'Brien. The Day of the Monster Uprising. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, it was just uploaded. That's why. Let's watch it. Hell. This is a new trailer. It's interesting. Just came out. Don't move. Let me see it. Don't move. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Where have you been, Joel? Amy, I love you. I'm gonna come find you. Monster Uprising. It was the day I lost everyone. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who did he lose? His parents? His family? It was the day I lost everyone. Not his girlfriend. <laughs> Better not be his girlfriend. The action of humanity survived to move underground. No. Hey. No. Amy, is that you? Oh my god. Hey. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. So far, pretty interested. It's like a absurd plot, and it's got like some action. It's got a good actor in it. A journey film. Nice. You all alone? Me too. You don't have to talk about it. He makes a friend. A little pup friend. Look out! Ho ho. Your instincts out here, man. Uh, this man is from The Walking Dead. That's where he's from. I was, they were looking for like a, a Woody Harrelson type character, like Zombieland. I, I figured that they were going to try to get someone a little eccentric to like, eh, just a, a nice foil to the straight lead. You know what I mean? Like a lead is a straight man, so you got to give him a, like a goofy sidekick. And a dog's not going to be goofy because it's a dog. It doesn't know how to be goofy because it's a dog. What if I have terrible instincts? You'll die. Super encouraging speech. <laughs> it's literally Zombieland, except Monster. They should have just called it Monsterland. We could still take our world back. It looks fun. I was just thinking, as I watched Dylan O'Brien run away, I was like, man, I need to see this man stationary. After the Maze Runner, I just, I need to see the man stand still for a minute. He might run more than any other movie star in history. It's gonna be funny because Dylan O'Brien's in it. He's a very funny actor. Let's move on to the final movie trailer, which will be Final Girl. Abigail Breslin is in it. 15 million views. That's a lot and she has a weapon. This looks like Hunger Games guy, doesn't it? Uh, it's very small, but I... Yeah, he might be Hunger Games guy. Veronica, would you like to come with me? Where? To a place where I would teach you things. You like learning things, don't you? What kind of things? Well, I would be training you for a very important job. What kind of job? The kind most people can't handle. <laughs> In theory, this shot really works, but uh, I just imagine the director is just like, okay, we're gonna set this camera on you. Now, smile. And then she does it. So like I can picture the behind the scenes of it, which takes away from like being into it. Does that make sense? 
Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't have doesn't have quite the payoff. That is the new waitress. Oh, I think I know this movie. She kills a bunch of people, right? What's his obsession with blondes? It's just his type. They kill. They kill people. <laughs> this trailer is so bad. Look at the sets. This one's not so bad, right? Boring. So boring. Car, everything's so dark. The shot just doesn't look very good. This, uh, what is this room? Maybe it's the style of the film, like noir style. Ugh, I don't know. It just doesn't look good. Anyways, this bad too. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Do they just chase him down and then shoot him? That's such a dumb plot. I can understand like a dangerous game. You know, like you let someone loose in the wild and then you gotta chase him down because it's a fair fight. Kind of makes you like, oh, I can get into that a little bit. Not in like a crazy way, but uh, it's pretty crazy actually. But like call four dudes with weapons versus one girl in non-running clothes, it seems unfair. This movie's like a 10%. Is this he taking? What are you doing Saturday night? What? <laughs> He's so douchey. Just the way he like poses. What are you doing Saturday night? No, you're doing that Friday night. You're gonna meet me here at eight o'clock with uh, clean hair. Hello boys, I'm Veronica. So, are you ready for a game? We hunt you down. Run! She's not scared. She's not scared. Terrified? She's not though. Yo, this is the worst trailer ever. <laughs> what is? <laughs> they just the shot isn't good enough to look at once. Don't put it on the screen twice. That looks terrible. 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 <laughs> Every shot. You're gonna have to do this mission alone. I'm gonna enjoy this. This looks like kick-ass if it was made for no money. If they had no budget. He's, the man's hanging, but he's screaming. So I don't know. This is probably his death scene though. So. That's so dumb. That's the final shot, bet. You are an interesting girl. Coming soon. I wish it wouldn't. Final girl. If this is over 10%, I'll be pretty surprised. That looked like a two pack of ass. Final girl. Uh, 3%. 3%. That's got it. That's going to be the lowest score I ever give a trailer, probably. <laughs> Stop. Don't start. That is about 30% too high. How, who gave it a positive review? Never, Justin Chang never trusts his reviews ever again. Queen of Horror gave it a positive review. You're the jester of horror. Cause you think that's good. Final Girl is more interesting in concepts. No, it's not. It, it had no concept. Hmm, boys chase down girls for no reason. I'm surprised this did as well as it did. 31%, look at how fucking awful this movie poster looks. It literally looks like a student project. Look how, look at this. What is he looking at? Her fucking shoulder blade? What is he doing over here? He looks like he's posing on the red carpet. That's gonna wrap up this chill zone video. Thank you for coming and chilling. Thank you for catching the vibes that I was throwing out, you know what I mean? I hate myself. Thank you to Crunchyroll for sponsoring this video. You can go to crunchyroll.com slash Dylan is in trouble. Trouble? <laughs> Get a free trial, test it out. That's gonna do it. I'll see you guys next time.